What's up guys, welcome to today's video where it is Friday, it is the end of week 10 of my bulk and things are going very well. My diet has changed a little bit. We have removed uh, some bread products like flour type products because I feel that they've been uh, bugging my stomach. Um, making me feel a lot more bloated than what I need to be, <laughs> than what's comfortable. Um, and we've replaced those items with rice. Um, so basically my main carb sources right now are rice, cream of rice, and potatoes. And a little bit of fruit here and there. So um, just kind of updating you guys on what is going on there. It's the only change that we've made so far in the last while. I mean, my average weight for the last week was 252.4. Uh, the week before it was 251.4. So things are moving in a positive direction. Um, you know, not that that really matters. It's just, you know, numbers are numbers. But things are going up. Strength is still going up. Everything feels good. Uh, chest feels good. You know, that chest that pec strain from a few months back I, I really don't notice anymore and uh, yeah workouts are going very well which brings me to my point of today's video which I do get a lot of questions on what rep range should I focus on what is the most important rep range for maximum hypertrophy I hear that question all the time. Everybody just wants to know exactly like what range is it? What, what, what do I need to focus on? And the answer is you need to be good at all the rep ranges. <laughs> you need to just be awesome at all of them. Get stronger at all of them. And when I say all of them, like what, what does that mean? That means the range from six to 10 reps, the range from 10 to 13 reps, the range from 12 to 15 reps, and the range from 15 to 20 reps, the range from 20 to 30 reps. I mean, that's about as high as it goes is 30 reps. And you should be keeping track of all of those rep ranges and choosing which rep range you're going to work on that day based on kind of how you feel. If whatever muscle group you're working on feels more banged up than usual, like if your joints feel a little more questionable as far as their integrity goes, it's probably not a good idea to go for a personal best at that 6 to 10 rep range, you know, because that's where you're going to be using the heaviest weights. Now, that's not to say that you're not going to be using heavy weights when you're doing a 20 to 30 rep range, you know. I mean, you're going to be using... Weights relative to the rep range. Like you want to still fail your working sets in those rep ranges. So, you know, what's heavy is relative to the individual. So it's really not important to even talk about heavy, light, whatever. It's just you need to choose a weight for yourself that's going to fail you in whatever rep range. Keep track of it. And then when you go back to try to uh, beat that rep range, you at least know what the hell you need to shoot for and what weights you need to use, how many reps you need to get with it, and so on. So that's my main advice to you is get good at all of them. Get good at every rep range because they all provide benefits. You get If you get stronger in the 20 to 30 rep range, you're getting stronger in the 6 to 10 rep range. You're getting stronger in the 12 to 15 rep range. You're getting stronger in the 15 to 20. You're getting stronger throughout all the rep ranges if one rep range is improving. That doesn't mean, you know, work on the same rep range every single week that you go in to do, you know, your push day or pull day or whatever. But you need to know what you can do in each rep range. And if you're starting a new program, that's what I recommend is you figure that out and start with typically the higher rep ranges. If you don't know what to do, start with that. Start with, you know, the, the, the 15 to 20 
rep range and figure out what kind of weight can you handle to failure for that. And then from there, you kind of can gauge what you should be able to do for the 12 to 15 rep range, which you could do for week two. And then week three, you could go in and be like, okay, let's see, what can I do for the 10 to 12 rep range? And then week four, go in and be like, okay, now we're gonna try the six to 10 rep range. And after like, if you're new, doing a new program, by the time you get to week four, things are gonna be, you know, clicking along pretty well and you'll probably be feeling pretty strong and six, the six to 10 rep range will uh, be a good time for you to do that. But then you'll probably feel a little bit banged up after that and it'll be a good idea to go back and do something like a 20 to 30 rep range for week five. So if you're new and you're trying to figure out how many reps you need to be doing, that's what I recommend you do. That's what I recommend you try to, or how you should try to set up your programming so that, you know, you're not just spinning your wheels and um, always maxing out at the same reps with the same weights and just not knowing what to do. So that is, uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Uh, I hope that this video was helpful and informative. As always, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Remember, nobody cares, train harder, and I will see you all next time.